rotate your phone. Hi, everybody. I try to get myself on the live. Hi. Hello, lovely Lunar Ladies Lifestyle Group. I'm so excited to um, get on here live. Yay! Welcome, welcome. So, I have lots to tell you. I It's never going to end. Hi, Ellen. Welcome. Nice to see you here. So, um, there's always stuff happening in the skies, right? We always have something going on. So, you're never going to get bored here. <laughs> so, hey, Janice. Welcome. Hi, sister. Happy to see you here. Uh, happy Wednesday. It's Oh, happy Thursday, everyone. January 4th. Um, I wanted to come on and share some stuff with you because I've been super excited, overwhelmed in like going in deeper with this beautiful Cancer super full moon that we just experienced at like New Year's Day. And so much has like just been like opening, softening, and uh, shifting and changing. So I'm really, really, really excited to come on here and tell you more about that. Because I know it's, I can tell it's happening for you too. Because if it's happening to me, it's happening to you too. <laughs> I know, right, Janice? What a week. Oh my God, especially those water moon sisters and water element signs. You're really picking it up. And if you're a Capricorn or a Cancer, sun, moon, or rising sign, you're also super feeling it too because Cancer and Capricorn are the octaves. They're the harmony holding this space and creating this container so that we can uh, grow, evolve, and and experience enlightenment this year. Why? How do I come to this conclusion? What, what's happening that um, I, I am feeling this or noticing it, right? So um, on the full moon, super full moon in Cancer, uh, it was an 11 degree axis, right? So the moon was 11 degrees, the sun was 11 degrees, Neptune was 11 degrees. So here we had this beautiful 11, 11, 11, three 11s showing up in the heavens, right? And so what, how we can uh, connect to that, even though we feel like, wow, that's so far away. The sun, the moon, uh, Neptune, like what does that all mean like in our, in our present day lives? So what it means is that all of those planetary vibrations are happening deep within your internal universe. Now remember, you are a spirit having a human experience. Your body, flesh and bone, is made up of the elements of planet Earth. And what is, where do those elements come from? Hi, Connie. Hi, Maria. They are basically the elements of this solar system or this part of the galaxy that we find ourselves in on planet Earth, right? So we really can say, yes, we are made up of stardust. So what happens when you merge the stardust that we call flesh and bone with uh, our spirit? So it's basically light. We are stardust and light, glitter. Like when we say that and we get, um, you know, we might giggle, hee hee hee, it's my unicorn humor, right? Uh, we're, you're really telling me that, are you really expressing the truth of uh, who we really are? And so what this year, 2018, is um, really like opening um, the parting the veil and really softening and opening this lotus uh, blossom, this crown chakra energy around enlightenment. Why do I say enlightenment? So 2018, if you add the numbers, it adds to an 11. So 11 energy is a master healer number. Now we look up in the sky and we said, oh my God, the sun, the sun was at 11, Neptune was at 11, and the moon, we're all holding this 11 frequency, right? And so when we look at like numerology, we look at you know, the three like kind of um, master builder healer type numbers, which are 11, 22, 33. And so what those uh, three numbers have in common when you add 11, 11, or 11 to 11, you get 22. You add 11 again, you get 33. So according to numerology, like these are master healer, builder, and uh, take, spirit taking form numbers. So we want to pay attention to that. And we had those three elements in the super full moon. Yay! <laughs> so uh, we want to like tune into that and figure out like, hey, what does that mean? How can I like 
understand what it means for myself, like opening my mind and my heart to tap into that bigger consciousness. And then how do I bring it into my everyday reality? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> because when we have, we're experiencing an 11 year, so what it, you know, that, that 11 number is about enlightenment. And what is enlightenment? It's like tuning in and being the light within, right? So we have this beautiful, aloha, Lolly. Hi, Jesse. <laughs> hi. Uh, hi, Malia. Hi, hi, hi. So happy to have you here. Thank you. So here we are. We're going to experience enlightenment. That's what this year and that's what this, these planetary alignments, that's what's like the message opening up and it's coming through this beautiful veil uh, and exquisite expression of cancer, which is mama's moon. And it's coming through this divine mother energy. And when we look at the, um, the kind of this old paradigm, Irma had really shared a, a beautiful way of, of, of framing it, this old plutocratic kind of masculine, we see it in our, our the politicians and the government, we see this energy and it's coming in and uh, what it feels like to me is like we're in the death throes. Hi Serena, welcome. We're in this like death throes of this old outdated uh, mas you know, masculine separated from the feminine paradigm. It has been something that's been in the power position. It's now, you know, our consciousness is waking up and we're like, that's not humanity. That doesn't speak for me. That doesn't even represent me. <laughs> if being like a woman or even someone with who's not the elite ruling class, like, wow, that doesn't re represent 99% of us. But so we're waking up and we're like, oh my God, when we wake up, Power to the people, right? Aquarius mindset, brotherly, sisterly love. We live in community. We're here to support one another. And we're all ab about our sole purpose business, right? So um, I just got super excited and just noticing, like, you know, like Janice was saying, what a week. Um, just start to notice what you've been feeling since the first of the year. Could be way before that, and it could be at that moment and what you've been feeling this week. Because there is an unfolding of this amazing divine feminine energy on the planet. It's here at the perfect time. It's, it's, uh, it's opening and blooming with all the, the uh, women who are in touch with their female energy, with all the men who are honoring their inner feminine. And it is so beautiful. It is so beautiful. So um, when we look at that mama moon energy at 11 degrees, which is enlightenment, uh, I'm going to give you the power of master healer power of dissonance. Are there patterns within your emotional understanding like your emotional brain or these unconscious patterns that are stopping you from your oneness. Oneness with the great web of life. Oneness with the divine feminine energy. Oneness with this ability to be a steward on the planet and caretake and love and nurture. So I, I'm going to post a couple of pictures of the, you know, mama grizzly bear. Okay. Go into your mind and just imagine this grizzly bear mama with her cubs. What does, is, who is she? What is she like? She is fierce, right? We all know what happens when you get between a mama bear and her cubs. Nobody wishes for that, <laughs> right? It is so badass, big energy. And you're like, all you can do at that moment is say, I am so sorry, bear. I had, didn't know your cubs were there. I'm so sorry. I'm going to lay down and play dead because I don't want you to eat me. <laughs> I want to survive and live another day. I'm going to honor your devotion for your babies and your fierceness about who you are and your power. And the mama bear does not second guess herself. No, she doesn't go in there and go, oh man, I wish I could growl. Oh man, those are my babies. I better do something. No, she's on, on it. <laughs> and she will stop at nothing to protect her, her babies. So that's the energy of this mama bear, uh, cancer super full moon right she has come in with like a softness because the mama bear energy is also very soft and the cubs can climb all over her and do whatever they want she'll go out and she'll you know keep them safe and she'll hunt for them and she'll bring the food home and she'll play with them and she'll have so much fun right and then if somebody even dares cross her path She's like, uh -uh. no, 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 no one messes with my cubs. Uh-uh, you got to talk to mama now. And everybody's like frightened. <laughs> 
<laughs> and they were head for the hills, <laughs> right? So we want to uh, acknowledge that we all have that energy d within us and it sits right on the surface. It's right here. It's not deep or far away. Or we have to find it. It is definitely the way that we are made. And so what the cosmos are saying is, how can you find that inner mama bear, men, women, children, for, for devoting yourself to the protection of all life and the protection of the planet and the caring and the nurturing and the playing in this beautiful paradise that we call Earth, right? Mama Gaia. She's like, come into my fold. I want to include you in my huge galactic or my huge um, global hug. And so, hi, Lori, welcome. And hi, Christy. And so that's what we want to start allowing ourselves to begin to feel again. Because sometimes the weight of the world and, you know, the way we grow up or childhoods weren't that easy and all that fierceness gets chipped away. But we're, we're remembering, right? Because the cancer rules uh, memories, the past. So what this 11 energy is bringing up is I want to like come through your past and start smooth, you know, clearing, dissipating any old, old, like unconscious programs that say you are not enough or you are not this or not that. All the knots. We're getting rid of that. We're untying the knots. <laughs> And so the 11 energy is like the greatest um, dissonance that comes through. And what it does is it clears all the old out of sync, out of harmony vibrations, patterns, like those loops that get stuck in our, our brain and we can't break through. We just, you know, that monkey mind or that obsessive mind that just keeps focusing on the problems, right? Because we just, when we do that, we're such powerful vortexes of creation. We just cre keep creating the problems over and over because... This energy of 11 also says oneness, power of now. There is no past. There is no future, right? There is only right now. And what are you going to do in the now? Are you going to play? Are you going to attract? Are you going to create? Are you going to destroy? What are you going to do? You're the ultimate feminine vortex of creation, right? And then when you harness that inner masculine and you take your power back and you stand tall and you and you guard the castle the, of the sacred temple within, right? That inner masculine and you have action and purpose and you can drive. And then you have the inner feminine that's soft and yin and nurturing and cares for the babies and, and breastfeeds them and just, you know, will stop at nothing to protect them, <laughs> right? Right. She could be soft and loving and all that, but then she can turn on the fierceness in a second if anything is going to like threaten her babies or her well-being. So that's why I kind of wanted to bring in that mama bear energy because of the cancer moon, because she was super full and, you know, as super moon at a full moon. And then also because of the degree, which was eleven. And that also translates and mirrors 2018 being an 11 year, okay? So 11 is huge. And so what we want to do is realize that. First of all, that's 99% of the way I come into awareness. I now know this. I can now come back and operate into this beautiful space of I'm awake, right? We are woke, right? And when you're awake, um, mountains can move right? Because when women wake, mountains move. That is the energy of what is here and available to us, is available to you to incorporate in your personal moment now, right here in your life. And if you have these areas where you don't feel good enough or less than, or you've got money issues and they're just not, you know, uh, changing, well, you've got the power of 11 to start changing it. But the power of 11 says, what is your enlightenment within? What is your connection to the oneness of the whole web of life, right? So we want to take this seriously. We want to really grab a hold of this 11 energy and run with it, right? No more time for problems. We are going to look at our problems like these greatest obstacles, these challenges that we get to bust through and show how powerful we are. Then you know, look at those obstacles like something coming in between you and your cubs. And you're like, I don't have to question my fierceness and my power. I act. And I act on instinct. And that instinct parallels to your intuition and that Shakti power that says, I am a vortex of creation. And when I align my inner Shiva, my masculine, and my inner sh uh, Shakti, my feminine, cosmic big bang happens. The ultimate orgasm of ecstasy because then you're in alignment with the oneness of all that is. And who doesn't want to live their life like that every day?
I do. <laughs> and I want to help you do that too. And it's not that hard and it's not far away. It's right here. And it's not yesterday. It's not a year from now or, or a week from now. It's right in the moment now. So this is our yoga practice. So we have Saturn moving into Capricorn, bringing in the winter solstice, moving through with Pluto, the great transformer for two and a half years. Uh, Venus is in Capricorn right now. So taking like the Venus, you know, taking her sword and standing fierce and tall, that Wonder Woman power and strength, right? So that Saturn energy, it says, okay, girls, <laughs> okay, ladies, time for discipline. It doesn't have to be hard. It doesn't have to be like, oh no, I got to whip myself into like discipline. Oh, it sounds so hard. You can turn the energy of what we call discipline, which is like showing up on your yoga mat every day. What do you know? Chop wood, carry water. What is it? Simple things I can do every day that get me into the present moment now, get me into focusing on the alignment, being aware and awake. What am I focusing on? What am I feeling? Is it mine to feel? Someone else's, right? I'm checking. I'm doing energy management, energy feng shui all day long. Wax on, wax off, right? I'm in the present moment now. I know what's going on. I'm not asleep driving my car and hoping I don't run into something, right? We're waking up. And waking up is not hard. It's not exhausting. It's exhilarating. It is so fabulous. <laughs> and it makes, then you grab the hold of the reins and then you can steer the horse, right? You can like move you know, the car. You can go slow. You can, fat, you can speed up. You can do what you want to do. You own it. You own your power. You become the sovereign nation within. And then you take your step forward. Next step. Next step always honoring I am in the best present moment now look at myself I'm do I'm doing like warrior woman stuff I'm a I'm a badass I, wow I'm owning this and then the more time you spend on that then the less time you're focused on the problems or the suffering or the sadness or what could have been the regret or the pain right it's okay to stay in the in that lane for a little while because then there's information there's solutions to the energy there's oh a connecting to where, where that thing first started but i don't want you to live in there you can drive down that street you can park there for a little while turn the radio on stay what you can stay as long as you need to but then remember that your rightful place is to come back into the now owning your power so i have to read the the uh your comments like this <laughs> Oh, I like that. Yes, exhausting to exhilarating. And Saturn is going to help us with that because Saturn is the chop wood, carry water. Saturn is our key to mastery. What is the key to mastery? What's the secret? I know the secret. Uh, <laughs> I forget the exact word. It's consistency. It's showing up. So when I want to learn, so I'm going to take on this thing. I'll tell you about it later, but it's about a violin or fiddle or rather. So if I want to learn to play the fiddle, I can't just pick it up and start playing the fiddle and then go, oh, it's I can't do it. And then saying, oh, no, nah, sorry, I can't do it. No, I pick up the fiddle and I do the scale or I just practice it or I hold it. I show up and I hold it and I hold the fingers and I maybe get a few calluses, who knows, but I have to show up every day, five minutes a day, every day. So it's consistency. That's the secret to mastery. So what we're doing, we're achieving mastery in 2018. So you can just go within. What is my thing that I do every day? What's my consistent thing, consistency thing to do? It could be just like every hour. Am I in the present moment now? Every hour. Am I in the present moment? Am I breathing? Are my shoulders like this or are they down? Do I need to stretch or do I need to come, you know, do I need to turn to get up? Do I need to walk around? Do I need some water. Whatever that looks like, because it can build on each other. So I really wanted to emphasize <laughs> who we have to help us. We have the 11 power. Oh, Sherry's here. I'm going to add Sherry. So I have a, actually a special guest tonight, um, Sherry C. Taylor, one of my favorite Inner Circle VIP Lunar Ladies. She has um, uh, asked if she could come on to tell you about um, the Inner Circle experience with Lunar Ladies. Um, so that's what I'm going to get into now. So one second, Sherry, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Maybe I'll add you now. Let's see since you're there. Okay. I'm going to add Sherry. Uh, bring this add. So here comes Sherry. So if you don't know Sherry, you need to know Sherry. Sherry is so much fun and 
She is. Hi, Sherry. Hi. <laughs> Am I up? You turn your camera the other way. There you go. <laughs> Gorgeous. Uh, hello, lunar <laughs> ladies. Hi, beautiful Shannon. How are you? Good, Sherry. How are you? Doing okay. Got it down. I mean, we're in the power of 11 year right now, right? We are. Serious. Making change. <laughs> big changes. Big, big changes. <laughs> so I just want to tell you, uh, introduce you to Sherry. Sherry is this most amazing, oh, powerhouse, God. gorgeous, mystical, <laughs> spiritual mystic who's coming in to give her gifts in the world. Oh, she is amazing. Thank you. And if you're her friend, you are so lucky because she will make you laugh. She will get you motivated. Mm -hmm. She will spread the word about who you are and what you're doing. And she'll make sure that you are successful in your life and achieving like the, your goals to be happy and, and, and successful and achieving everything that you've come here to do. So that's like Sherry's like, woo, tornado, tornado energy. <laughs> like the town cheerleader. <laughs> yes, yes. Woo, Sherry woo, is our let's town get our pom -poms <laughs> Exactly, exactly. And she is waking up her beautiful mystical gifts. And she is like opening up the world of essential oils and beauty and that inner beauty and how to help us get to that place and really like show up in the world powerfully. Aww. So thank you, thank Sherry. You, for... You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> so um, uh -huh. so she, I asked Sherry, Sherry asked me if she could come in and, and tell you about her experience with the Inner Circle Lunar Ladies Club. And mm -hmm. so I want to ask, I want to bring Sherry into share her experience, like kind of where she started, where she is now with Living with the Moon. And um, we have this amazing, wonderful offering to give you this month. I'm putting the Lunar Ladies Inner Circle Club on sale. All, Do it. All for the year, 50% off. Yes. So, We'll tell you more about that. But Sherry, mm -hmm. would you like to tell us uh, what your experience has been so far being an inner circle VIP? Yeah, it'd be about a year that I joined your fabulous tribe. And I'm, I, <laughs> I've never been more fascinated with something I had so much fear for. It was the craziest thing ever. I'm one of those people that grew up with the fear of death about the moon. I, <laughs> I was afraid of the moon. And especially if it was full, I was... 10 times more afraid of the moon. And it's basically, you know, all the things that you've been told when you were little and, uh, you know, yeah. oh, werewolves come out at night and they'll get you. And, you know, I grew up thinking that's exactly how it goes. So if there's a full moon, I'm like, I am hiding. I am not going, <laughs> you are not going to get me to go out and burn any kind of list. Or <laughs> I was like, no, we're not going to play today. So, but it is because of you, Shannon, and your beautiful you know, um, wisdom with this moon and it's wonderful, amazing energy and gifts. And you basically learn how to dance with the moon. And now you're sharing that gift with us. And I am one of the luckiest recipients of it because now it's like, I don't have any, but anything but love for the moon. I'm very much like the moon. I get to burn my stuff. Yay. Or <laughs> yay. new intentions. Yay. You know, <laughs> Hey Shannon, what's going on with the planets? Where are we at? <laughs> Or right. Shannon, I'm having a meltdown over here. What's going on? She pulled up the chart. <laughs> oh, Sherry. Yeah. Okay. We just got to tweak it a little bit. Go get in <laughs> touch with this, that, and the other thing, and you'll be on your way. And you've been such an amazing educator for me with the moon, and I now know how to use it to my advantage, and I'm so blessed and grateful for your wisdom. Oh, Sherry, that's so awesome. Thank you for like sharing with us like your experience so far. And you've come so far. The first Sherry was like, yeah, oh, Shannon, no what idea. the heck is this? I was like, what but is the this cool thing about, right? What's this thing? You want me to do what? I don't get it. Like what? And, and so she was so sweet. I mean, talk about facing your fear. Right. And, and oh, still yeah. moving Head forward. On. Right. She didn't give up. Head on. She didn't, you know, say, oh, this is too hard. No, I can't do it. See you later. You know, mm -hmm. she pushed through. She persevered, nope. which is a testament and to your character and you know, your power. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Shannon. But you, you know, you two <laughs> on the flip side, Join, <laughs> joining Shannon in the now you're all a part of the lunar ladies lifestyle group which is an amazing group don't misunderstand what i'm about to say but she goes deeper with <laughs> you one-on-one -on -one 
in the Lunar Ladies Membership Club. I mean, she's there for everybody and, you know, gives us extra special goodies. I mean, you all saw what I got, you know, for my little special Christmas gift that, you know, oh, like yeah. the, the healer's mood medicine and the Neptune bath salts. And I mean, just, and they're all homemade stuff that she puts love into it, blesses it. And it's just like an amazing part of the, that's just one small fraction of what you get from Shannon, but you get emails from her during the month that re, that are about your chart. It's about you. It's not about the whole, the group as a whole where you're left wondering what exactly, um, you know, she's talking about. Does it relate to me? Whereas in the, the lunar ladies membership, you know, group, it is about you. She sends you a special report within the reports that you get. I've personally had um, my natal chart read from her. I had no idea. I was like, what are those little things? Like, what? What's going on? I'm like, Shannon, you got to help Which is out. totally normal, by the way. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at this thing. I'm like, I may as well have been in, in Egypt pyramid looking at hieroglyphics going, I have no idea. But the energy feels good. <laughs> <laughs> right? you know i'm just good i'm in this happy you know stuffy place it's good i'm feeling great but what does that all mean and the um the fact that she spends so much personal time with you your membership is such an investment in you because when you understand how to align with our fabulous moon <laughs> Things change like the, there's a shift within a shift because we're all like ever evolving and we shift and we know how to balance and center. But when you do it with the power of the moon and it's in its special phases, oh, there's presence, <laughs> not just right. presence, but presence. <laughs> <laughs> That's so awesome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Talk about like getting you in the present moment. Yeah. Like, the power of now. Like yes. tuning in. What the heck is going on? And, you know, I mean, every single one of us has some form of trial or tribulation that we have endured or possibly are in the midst of right now. Um, every single one of us has had something go not so good at some point in our lives. And the moon gives us the magnificent blessing of being able to say adios amiga or amigo we don't i mean mm -hmm. i forgive you and i send you off with love and light and the moon has this fabulous way of when that burning ritual or in that new intention ritual which are the two most powerful times in my book for our monthly moons is a phenomenal i mean there's just no greater purging than being able to do that and shannon you're so gracious to just all of a sudden, you know, your blogs are phenomenal. <laughs> There's so much meat and potatoes and every, I'm, wait, I didn't say that, of fish and, <laughs> and, yeah, and, vegan and dark <laughs> leafy greens. <laughs> it's so much kale. Hold on. There. Kale, <laughs> fish and kale. Yeah, yeah. Alaskan <laughs> wild caught. Anyway, I'm playing. Right. But um, so, bottom line is, is that you are so great, gracious to dedicate your life. This is your life's purpose. And so the best gift that we can all do, it's a give and take with Shannon. You know, you, you become a part of her intimate tribe and you get the beautiful benefits of all of her knowledge and you grow <laughs> so much from that knowledge. It's totally a win-win. Thank you, Sherry. I agree. Like my own experience following the moon, um, mm -hmm. I broke through like these, I think they were from, well, now I know I can see my chart in a new way, but <laughs> they were right. definitely from past lives right. where I almost like kept hitting myself against the wall, especially in relationships. Right. Yeah. And I would sabotage them before they even had a chance to get off the ground because I was, had this deep seated fear of betrayal right. or rejection and all this stuff. And I could never like get my mm -hmm. self, like understanding how to break through it or heal it or whatever. Right. So the moon actually because the moon also rules our dreams mm -hmm. and you know i could go like it's a little huge story but my 12th house so this is what you learn you learn about your what what signs are ruling your house your so personal you start, chart yeah your own personal chart so you can uh, you know use the moon as like a huge a power tool so through my dreams i came into the awareness the awakening awareness that that was, I was the self-saboteur in my dreams. I kept blaming all these other people mm -hmm. and blaming and, and feeling mm -hmm. like, oh, poor me. I'm the victim, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Someone's going to, my boyfriend's going to leave me or cheat on me. And, mm -hmm. you know, because I had all these, like, 
you know, those reoccurring dreams that you have. Right. Uh, it was always like he's cheating on me. And then I would go into a rage or I'd feel like so powerless. Right. And they were just like nightmares. Right. And right. Um, so I felt super powerless about that. Mm -hmm. So just as a quick story, I had one of those, uh, those dreams that were like uh, bone crushing dreams. I right. hated those dreams. Right? And then I, I had the awareness to go, where's the moon? What is going on with the moon? Mm -hmm. And so I, I looked and the moon was in my 12th house mm -hmm. when I had that. So I'm like, oh, the moon is coming through, opening up this doorway for me to take a look again. What is my emotional reflection here? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh my God, mm -hmm. I have this deep seated fear of the rejection. So I go and sabotage and hurt or leave right before they do something to me before they have the chance and exactly so it was, and so i when i realized that i took my power back mm -hmm. in my relationships right and that dream has never come back <laughs> right and i got that message right right i mean honest to god it's it's life-changing stuff when you can literally learn how yeah. to dance with the moon it, it's just amazing and yeah. when you you know the natal chart reading isn't it's Shannon is so, you all know Shannon, come on. She's our giggle queen. She's our, our giggle, giggle moon dance queen. I mean, honest <laughs> to God, I just, when you, when you talk to her or you listen to a live, you just feel better after, but not just her knowledge of the moon, but she has so much intuitive gifts that she mm -hmm. shares with us in um, the readings. And in my natal chart reading, she, you know, there was like, it's a two part reading, but she goes live with you. Like you're live. Yeah. It's not a re and she records the live, but you get to talk to her. Like we're talking right now. And so you feel that connection as if you're, you know, sitting in her office at, at her, you know, at her home or at her office, you know, like you're just in there, you're live with her. And, you right. know, when I have questions, she's so, she's so compassionate to take the time to make sure I understand everything. Like if I don't understand that little kite and what it's doing there or the little <laughs> squiggly lines, and I'm like, can we just explain that? Because that's probably causing me a problem. I can feel it. <laughs> no, but it's right. Like in, in the beginning, I had tons of questions and it was such a beautiful experience that you get that intimate one-on-one -on -one time with Shannon. And then she just takes you right into your own personal, you know, personal like um, chart and explains it in detail. And I, w we came to find that I, I was born on the sun and moon. I was like, right. At, <laughs> I was like, that explains everything. <laughs> <laughs> so Sherry's a Gemini with a new moon in Gemini. So there's lots of Sherry's to go around. <laughs> <laughs> no kidding. Don't go giving me a bad rap now, Shannon. <laughs> right? So like for Sherry, like one of the biggest things for you is realizing that and then going, okay, I need to slow down yeah. and ground because yes. I am very, very, yes. so I need fire and I need grounded, right? I yes. need this, you know, spiritual fire and then I could ground that and then I open up the portal to my power. Yes. So yeah. I bet that was also life changing to just it, to get a hold of that. To, to like truly know what the heck's going on and why it all, and how it all comes together. I mean, you know, and then to get that one-on-one -on -one each month with, you know, being a member where I can just, where you send me that beautiful report, like, Hey, this is what's going on right now in your chart. This is, you know, this is your, your light side and your shadow side. And I was like, shadow, what's going on with the shadows? <laughs> like, I was like, what's happening with the shadows? I'm not sure if I'm digging these shadows right now, because I, that, looking at me on paper, I'm not quite sure I like me right now. So, so, so I'm like, Shannon, we need to come to Jesus meeting. Come on. Let's chat. What is it? Oh, Sherry, it's just you. you th these are the people that may come into your experience that that kind of make you see the color red a little bit, you know, that you don't care to have in in your particular space and not to be mean or judgmental by any stretch of the words. But it's just a trait that kind of triggers me a little bit. So I have to just be aware is all. Just be aware. right. Yeah, those those are emotions are just good right. to be aware because if you know that the moon is broadcasting this emotional frequency, right, and then you know, wow, I have a tendency to go to the dark side in that frequency, right. I'm gonna say hello, hi, dark side. <laughs> yeah. Hey, I'm not today. Video. We're not gonna play today. Bye -bye. Hey, <laughs> you got some gold for me. Like, I don't. If I don't like that, I need to see like how do I act that out. Right. And I'm like, wow, I don't like that. So I'm gonna shift it because right. I'm in the moment now. Because awareness is key. So it's it's an amazing awareness. amazing thing. <laughs>
Seriously, I was like, oh, okay, all right, okay, we're better now. This is good. I got it. Right. It's, okay, and then I cruise through my like, month, and then I'm like, dee, 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 right? doing my little happy dance because Shannon explained that everything's so amazing. Right, then, so who, who doesn't want to cruise through your week or your month rather I mean, than, like, hitting your ass off? Like, we, uh, we, can, we can add <laughs> so much more-ish <laughs> to our lives. Yes then we even know uh, without these tools and without these understandings and this, this time spent with you to really nail it down is, you know, it's such a help because now it's like between what I'm, you know, learning from, you know, Randina and then learning from you, it's the dots are connecting. And I love, love, yeah. I love, love this journey. I love this journey. And you have yeah, the like, instrumental then, part for that. So right. And personal growth does yeah. not have to be painful. No, it can be like, a, it can be playful. And right. Fun. Right. And then right. when you're in that space, you right. all of a sudden stepped out of the disconnected masculine feminine and you're into mm -hmm. the connected universe of the divine feminine, which is collaborative, mm -hmm. playful, connecting, right. uh, creative, mm -hmm. can have you know, power to destroy that which no longer serves her highest good. Right, the mom. You can there. you can actually you can create the shift almost in advance by kind of knowing what's upon you, because you've exactly. taken the time to tell us what's going on. You're like, hey, we got this situation coming on, ladies. You guys might want to get your pens and papers out and and write <laughs> down all the the baggage you want to leave at the at the front door out by where you you know take your trash by the curb and burn that thing and and move through it and, and make that a very powerful personal experience and feel the, yeah. the energetic release in the process of doing that. And without the knowledge that you actually provide through these natal chart readings and, and, and ladies, I know I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but the sole purpose <laughs> reading. Okay. I'm oh not yeah. I'm going to bore you with that, with my little, <laughs> I'm just gonna tell you, do, do, please do. Oh my God. I, I, I can't even express it enough. If you just want to invest in yourself and really feel your own power in what you came here to do um, at, at a, a cosmic level of understanding that, that just all the dots connect and you're sitting there listening to Shannon going, what are you doing in my head? <laughs> Why are, wait a second, okay. Shannon, I don't recall us talking about this. <laughs> I'm like, just do your chart. <laughs> it's your intuitive gifts that come straight in. And yeah, well, really you know, it's so magical. nice. Yeah. Aww. It's Thank amazing, you, Shannon. You've helped me so much. I just, I come from a, a real, um, you know, a, a traumatic upbringing in some regards that, that, I, that I held on to that for my whole entire life up until yeah. a year ago where I was able to really go deep, 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 pull that up and spit it out of my field. At any time it thinks about wanting to creep back in, I'm like, okay, I got my tools. Shannon, what's going on in my report? And I go to my, my internet and then I pull that up and I say, uh-huh, okay, not today. <laughs> right. <laughs> the inner Wonder Woman comes out and goes, not playing. <laughs> uh, yeah mama don't play like that ma ma there's a mama bear moon in it this mama is not playing <laughs> nope exactly and that's another wonderful thing is that when you're living like your life as a woman you know with that help of the moon and the reflective peace and mm -hmm. you start feeling more safe and secure right. and nurtured mm -hmm. so that you can then go into those deeper parts that need the need you to go right. there to connect with that energy or that experience mm -hmm. so you can move the energy through with grace right and through that energy of the divine mother that maternal nurturing so so you were feeling more safe to to knock on that door and go deeper in and then you had all these wonderful tools like with mm -hmm. randina and then your experience with the moon opening that mm -hmm. up and then also so we have that nurturing energy coming in when right. you start living with the moon and then it starts at the same time you get two for one your intuition starts to get really sharpened. Yep, and mine's and it, mine's up and coming. I'm like, ooh, oh yeah, uh, ooh, yeah. Then you start to recognize. You're yes. like, oh my god, that's my intuition talking to me. Yes, that's my angel language. Yes, or that's my time. Yes, and then you get really confident and know that you're not alone. Like now you have universal backup, right. mm -hmm. like universal friends. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Kareen, right? 
<laughs> I know, right, Corinne? That's right. <laughs> She's like, let's And then you chat. start blowing your mind because you're like, oh, yeah. damn, I, I felt that was coming. I know. Or Shannon posted something about this, you know, moon in Leo or whatever. And I'm like, right. I was feeling that all day. Like, I love it. Exactly. When you ladies exactly. say, oh, my God, I was cleaning the house all day. <laughs> and I was like, because the moon's in Ferguson. <laughs> Look how in tune you are. You're so I powerful. I know. I know, I know. So I we get like it's right. It's like instant gratification right. for how amazing you already are. Now, one of the moon's gifts, and and partly my role is reminding you. I'm holding up this beautiful mirror that says, "Look, oh my God, you are amazing. I, you're yeah, not broken. Yeah, you're, and, that, and you're, you're like you're ready to fly." And you have literally, that has helped me so much because when you come from a place where you grow up and don't get me wrong, I had, I had parents that were doing the best that they could. I wouldn't go and start bashing my parents. It's just not my style, but I do understand that they were teaching me what they had learned from their lineage and so on and so forth. So it's only human nature to to share that with me. But I mean, there were plenty of times where I could hear my mom telling me what a disappointment I was. You don't think that is going to stick with me for like a very long time, you know, but I know, oh, yeah. I know that that is not who I am. I'm, I've learned that and I'm not broken. I am perfectly created in the eyes of, of, in my God is source for me, but it's source to, you know, source energy. I mean, I'm, I'm blessed and I just, I'm fascinated. So like every day I'm like, what are we going to do today to dance with this energy? You know? And if I'm not feeling it, I'm like, right. Oh, <laughs> You're yeah, right. Yeah. So now Sherry's got these, all her tools to dance with her life. Yeah. And dance with like, wow, something crossed my path, whether than me being afraid of it. Cause I don't know what it is. And I start right. resisting it and pushing it away. I'm mm -hmm. like curious. Right. Who are you? And right. what, why are you here? Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Then you, so. you, 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 to life in the present moment mm -hmm. empowered exactly. and it's not hard to empower yourself like the moon is for women is such an easy like free tool like to just help us um own our space again right no it's and you've, I, you've you've been magical you've been a magical part it's like a a, a moon magic carpet ride <laughs> i love it <laughs> I love it. Oh, we got to make a meme for that. I know, right? <laughs> so that was like, right? So when I started looking at the, yeah, exactly. When I started looking at the energy of 2018 and starting to tune into the feeling of it, mm -hmm. like really from that intuitive place, right. I was like, oh, this is an 11 year. This is a master healer year. Uh, women are like really getting this softening and this opening. It started right. with cancer full moon. I'm like, the moon club, the lunar ladies <laughs> inner circle VIP needs to go on sale because I need to make it affordable for as many people as possible. Because when we, when you do it for yourself, you get like this rush of uh, empowerment. But then when we circle together, you get not only your own empowerment experience, the synergy effect. There's like I kind of like to call it the butterfly effect. Yeah. Right. You yeah. get to come in and you get like the experience of all the other women who are mm -hmm. waking up and it comes at you like this huge, uh, resource mm -hmm. of like, Oh my God, I felt some, all these other women waking mm -hmm. up and if they're your sign, mm -hmm. you're going to get a gift. Mm -hmm. You're going to get their Get sharing of their waking up, you're going to receive that. Yep. Because that's just how a circle works. There's no beginning and ending to a circle. It's just as it is. It's infinite. It's infinite. And mm -hmm. it just, it, it creates more of itself and it just mm -hmm. expands. It never loses its shape. Mm -hmm. It just expands and expands and expands like a pebble in the, in the water. A ripple, right? in the, a ripple in the effect. pond. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So that's why I got super excited. I'm like, okay, we need, mm -hmm. Uh, as many ladies circling together because we want that ripple effect for 2018 because right. it will ricochet into the world. And even if it's like our community of women waking up and, mm -hmm. and opening and softening and empowering, women across the globe will get it too. Right. 
So I'm like, let's do this together. Together <laughs> we you know, let's talk it out. Yep. Yeah. yeah we'll, we'll, there's right. something to be said for uh, joining forces and numbers, you know? Yeah. It's the power. I like to call it the power of the pod because I like dolphins and I, I relate to them and I, you know, I'm, I've been initiated by them, <laughs> real wild dolphin. So it's like the power of the pod. I've seen it. Like you've probably seen YouTube videos of like super pods, mm -hmm. that, you know, hundreds of dolphins all swimming together. And you watch that and you go, oh my God, it's so big and so amazing. And that's just the amount of dolphins on the surface you can see. Mm -hmm. There's double that underneath that are still swimming. Right. right, right. So I want that power of the pod here with our community. Because we can create it like that. And it's easy, it's fun, and it doesn't have to hurt. <laughs> you can act enjoyable experience. Right. Collective empowerment, right, Malia? That's yes. Right. Collect yeah. Totally huge. And I mean, when we're all like together and you, you know, set up these classes and these courses and we are all doing this inner work, the shift is it's changing. I mean, I Yeah. You know, I've, I've seen it in my own personal life and others and, and people that were kind of under my skin earlier in the year. And now there's just this peace where because I'm doing the inner work where I'm not yeah. playing in that oh. vibrational like, you know, play yard. I'm playing in a in a more um, peaceful like every you know, everyone is love. And I'm trying really hard to remind myself, as Wayne Dyer said, look at everyone as though they are pure love. And you, you know, no matter if they've rubbed you wrong or done something, forgive them and move through that for yourself. Forgiveness is really hey, girl. That is peace on earth. That is what we're all striving mm -hmm. towards. And I right. just have to, to share with our, our lovely community here that Sherry discovered that her North node, which is your soul purpose window of your soul is Pisces. And that's ultimate compassion and peace and finding that Wayne Dyer practice of coming into a place of love for everyone and everything. So when Sherry does that, she, her soul grows in her lifetime in this ex limited little experience yeah. of her infinitude, right? So um, Sherry, actually Sherry and the, and the ladies who have done soul purpose readings for this past three months from Randina's Create Your Life by Design. You all have inspired me to shift what I'm doing. Plus, now I get affirmation from the cosmos. But we're going to be looking at everyone's North Node, right? So when you get your oracle reading for the week, based on the, the lunar phase of the moon, either first quarter, new moon, full moon, third quarter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to okay. base it off your North Node energy, which is your soul purpose. Ooh. And so we can use the moon to move that soul purpose energy into a place of harmony and expansiveness and flow wow. so that all of you ladies are going to be work, uh, doing your soul purpose energy. You're fulfilling your divine promise to uh, anchor in a new frequency on this planet, which is based on love, compassion, collaboration, connection, support. Danielle Agnew has said, lead with love. This is a feminine timeline or the time frame, mm -hmm. and she's written, written a treaties on what that looks like and feels like and sounds like. Wow. So if you haven't read Danielle's um, article she just posted on uh, the feminine time frame, do yourself a favor and read that because it is so like jammed packed mm -hmm. with amazing mm -hmm. information about what is happening on an energetic field. And it's not just happening on earth, it is happening in our galaxy. Right. And that's when we can really like live like and understand what that uh, ancient phrase mm -hmm. as above, so below. How do I know that in my own personal experience? Um, tapping into your feminine energy at this time is matching that cosmic interplay of the divine feminine opening up her beautiful lotus blossom in the galaxy. <laughs> Right. We want that. We want to be aligned with the galaxies. Oh. Hell yeah. <laughs> I yes, know, we right? do. Right? Bring it. <laughs> Let's see. Malia says, oh, North Node with Neptune. Uh-huh, sister. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's Miss Sherry, the spiritual mystic here on the planet, like making us laugh and lighting us <laughs> up and helping it and reminding us to love more. Yes. <laughs> love is exactly. the answer. So I...
Yeah, love is the answer. Love makes the world go round. All you need is love. I mean, there's so many songs. We could make the playlist of all like the great musicians who have heard that beautiful mm -hmm. musical universal composition that you right. know, love is all there is. It's right. really true. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> We're going to laugh at ourselves one day and go, oh my God, it was that easy. <laughs> like, yep. <laughs> right? Yeah. So we do it for ourselves, and then we start ricocheting and ripple affecting out into our families, yep. our friends, our communities, our neighborhoods, our workplaces, yep. and then it just spreads like a wildfire. That is a true statement. I'm living proof of it because you know my journey with my little work life, my little special work that I have, you know, where Yeah, I your little, my... your, your wonderful avatar teacher at work who's mm -hmm. come to show you so many mm -hmm. things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right? And it's all about reframing. No, totally. Yeah, oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no. So, That's a whole nother live. <laughs> exactly. A whole other live, a right? A whole that nother so live. To break that down. <laughs> right? Well, we're going to dissect that so that's, whole that's, situation. Yeah. Right. So, And that's also the beauty of Sherry's experience with the moon so far. Like, she got to take this experience that's happening in the now and use it as the ultimate teachable moment for her soul's growth. Mm -hmm. and is you know it's something about you know pretty simple like we might look at it as pretty simple like oh a co-worker relationship but sherry said uh-uh this is my moment to shine and to grow and understand myself at a deeper level mm -hmm. and when i do that's where my power is and i take it back and i use it to create correct instead of not aware of it and it's just destroying mm -hmm. and sabotaging over here right stepping out right? of that the veil and you brought her forward and you said thank you mm -hmm. oh i thanked her plenty of times i'm like thank you very much <sighs> yes okay right and we have to start somewhere it could be like thank you very much to like thank, thank you very much, much and then you're like, like thank you <laughs> and then you next time you're okay. like no judgment okay thank you very much and then you just it totally gets easier and easier and easier and finally you're just like what am i like because, you know, I, most of us are all very intelligent. What beings, am I We all know you can't change what anyone else does, but you can certainly change how you respond to what other people do. So if you respond with anger, well, then you're just going to make, you're going to amplify uh, amen, more sister. anger. So, you know, it's really all about how we yeah. respond to what's around us. And if you look at that in this big, giant perspective, it makes complete and total sense. So you, so you step out of the situation and you become the observer and you look back in and go, all righty then. <laughs> I see what's yeah. going on here. This is a lesson. So you know what? Universe, angels, God, what do you want me to know? And listen. And then we move straight through and it's like, yay. I'm so excited for this this the change it's just it's amazing yeah. i'm so excited to be on this journey i'm, I'm just i find myself like you guys all, all my friends that are not in any of the groups i'm in you guys come on hurry you guys gotta come play come 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 <laughs> right come check it out They're like what are you talking about just get 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 <laughs> i'll explain it later but just just tell me it's okay to put you in the group <laughs> We'll hit that. We'll hit yeah, that. Right, right. Just later. Go ahead. Right. I'll put you in the group and then we'll have a lot of fun. We'll have lots to talk about. <laughs> yes. Yes, exactly. But I, I love what you shared about becoming the observer. You know, becoming the observer is so powerful because you, what Sherry's done is she got out of reactive mode, which doesn't give you a lot of space to create it. It's like repetitive looping. There's like, it's, it's um, destructive. The crazy she got creative space <laughs> and became the observer where she could respond from a place of calm, centered power. Mm -hmm. Where I'm not willing and, to give it away to the person. I'm not willing to give my personal power up to someone that isn't, you know, doesn't care enough. I mean, so right. send you off with love and light. I wish you no ill will, but we're, we're done here. Have a good day. Great. Yeah. Bye -bye. Namaste. Thank you. <laughs> Namaste. God, God, in you. Me, God in you. <laughs> right. But you know, and, then, and instead of giving her the bird, you might give her a mudra. Oh, right. You don't want to, you know, right. Oh. Instead of flipping her off, you give her one of these. Okay. I got some new, <laughs> see all oh, the tools, the ladies. Come on. These tools. All oh, right. <laughs> Chock full of tools. Cause I need something so, different to, um, for traffic. <laughs> yeah. I live in Los Angeles. Traffic is exactly. <laughs> Um, so some of the things, so if you're interested and you're feeling called and you're resonating with 
coming in and joining us, me and Sherry and all the other lunar ladies in the inner circle. You know, what are the, some of the things that you're going to get and receive is um, a weekly oracle based on the moon in its phase, whether it's setting intentions with the new moon, breaking through blocks in the first quarter, releasing and celebrating in the full moon, and then um, letting go and finding your support and going inward with the third quarter moon, right? So um, you get a weekly oracle reading based on your chart, and uh, we're gonna uh, bring it. We're gonna turn up the notch for uh, our eleven master healer year and come into a place of alignment and and oneness by using your North Node energy. And there'll be classes on what is the North Node. There's be classes on how do I read my chart. So I have all of those in the Lunar uh, Living Library. So there's learn about your houses, learn about your signs, learn about your chart, and everybody gets a personal portal profile in the Lunar Ladies website. We have a we have a back end that's just for club members. So you get your chart there and it says, hello, Sherry, you are a Gemini sun, a Gemini <laughs> moon, and a Leo rising. And so all those that are there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to add in the North Node of Pisces. Mm -hmm. And so you can, they're all clickable. And you click on that and you go right to a new page that shares with you what that means. Then you also get a natal report that says, this is you. Here's your 20 page port to download and it's stored on your portal. You have your chart and then you access the whole resource library, mm -hmm. um, which is chock full. And I'm always mm -hmm. adding more stuff to it. Mm -hmm. um, but you get access to the class every month that I just do for the inner circle. So we did, um, I shared the cord cutting class um, in the last lunar cycle. Uh, but I'm going to start making those for members only. Especially, I might share it with the with the lifestyle group as kind of like an introductory, but we're going to really break it down in the VIP inner circle. Mm -hmm. So there's Zoom classes uh, that you get access to that are yours forever as long as you're a member. And then I also have a Lunar Living uh, e-course, which is um, 24 lessons about each of the moon phases and what it means, what's the energy, how do you tune in, what are the do's and don'ts. Mm -hmm. And we have meditations, worksheets, playlists, all for you. So that's there. Um, and then you get a monthly uh, MP3 audio that tell that I'm sharing just with the members of what I see as this lunar cycle, what it's about. Um, you get Dr. Stella's meditations every month um, for being a member. And then you get discounts on all the readings with me and any other things that I'm offering. And then you get a lot of special surprises especially now I've got this new thing I'm doing. I'm wild crafting flower essences based on your chart. So I'm going to make that available for members only. That is where amazing. I'm going to wild craft your own flower essence that says, Sherry, this is your essence for, you know, I and you take that. it this way. I, <laughs> I love so that. Excited. And I mean, it's like your own, and then, uh, isn't, isn't it like your own elixir? Like Shannon's LSD 1111 elixir. <laughs> Yes, yes. I'm gonna make your own personalized LSD 1111 uh, personalized to your chart. <laughs> Look, put a drop on your tongue, and you will give oh, me till the cows come home. Wait, till the cows right. jump over the moon. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna do that, and then my uh, Lakpa, my partner, who you might have seen on the. Um, Power Puja on Monday, mm -hmm. he's going to do a special Puja just for the Lunar Ladies. Um, and he actually, I was going to post a picture. He did a special altar for the Lunar Ladies. I'll post it in the group. Um, and he's just a very magical being in his own right. Uh, when yeah. he was eight years old. So he was born at the foot of the Himalayas in the Kumbu in Nepal, where Mount uh, Everest is. That's where he's from. And at age eight, he was the oldest child in his family oldest son in his family so the the sherpa tradition is the oldest son goes to the monastery and it's a great honor so when he was eight he went into kopan monastery and became a little monk like a sweet little <laughs> monk oh, <laughs> hi carrie hi katie <laughs> hi, hi katie. Katie. Say hi. so lakpa um when they're 18 they can choose to leave the monastery um, because at that point you're like a man and you were came in as a, a boy, now you're a man. And if you want to stay, you can stay. But if you want to leave the monastery and go out into the world and live as a man, you're welcome. So they have choices at, when they're 18. Mm -hmm. So Lakpa loved it. 
it was his home. It was his calling. And he chose to stay. So he stayed for another eight years. And um, uh, through, you know, different circumstances in his life, he w you know, had to leave the monastery around his Saturn return, which is really interesting because um, Saturn return is a major life event. So he had a major life event and he uh, had to leave the monastery at that point, which, you know, his heart is actually still there. That's why I, I I've been encouraging him this over this last in 2017. I said, dear, we really need your gifts. The world needs your gifts. The lunar ladies need your gifts. Yeah. So that's why he, oh, and he, and I think I told you in a lie before, he calls you the lady lunars. Because <laughs> <laughs> English is his fifth language. Right? Oh, so dear. he's like, oh, the lady lunars. And I'm like, yeah, the lady lunars need your <laughs> beautiful gifts. He is so cute. <laughs> your puja. He's so right. cute. He's just, he's just got this so... spirit about him. So yeah, he's a blessing. Oh, he's, yeah, he's super sweet, a <laughs> really old soul. Um, he's been, definitely been a monk many of his lifetime. So he brings this essence of Tibet, of this ancient language and philosophy and understanding of life and the world. And so what he's going to be doing uh, moving forward, because uh, in 2018, not only is it 11, but when the Tibetan and Chinese New Year happens, it's the year of the earth dog. Wow. And we have a dog together who we love. It's our baby. And we're going to celebrate by him stepping out. And he wants to offer the Power Puja Circle for all the VIP Inner Circle members um, to have a special, you know, where we say your name and we burn things for you. And so we're supporting you as you release as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, he's going to be offering that. So that's just another like gift and you know that we've all come up with so far but i mean i am like busy creating 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 because yeah. um, i love it and what is also super cool about that is part of my soul purpose because we're going to get into all your soul purposes when you join the club this year um part of my soul purpose was in my south node which is libra in the fifth house of creativity um i've spent i have a um a soul pattern that says your creativity gets thwarted. Your creativity gets stopped. Uh, when you come into a relationship, the creativity ends, right? So once I, I realized that actually this year, and um, I even just today, I had like all these papers, I'm taking notes, and I'm, you know, whoa, what can we do next? It's so cool. And I realized I am living like my sole purpose by creating like a mad woman. <laughs> like creating. <laughs> allowing myself to play in the energy and, and finding working. the harmony and the truth and connection and all that um so that was like i had a major aha so i still get the major ahas too like we're all expanding and growing oh yeah um, yeah so i just wanted to share like i mean there's this is just the beginning like it's all coming down the pipeline mm -hmm. <laughs> yes it so is i want to share it with all of you and make it affordable and bring you into the inner circle and just to grow it and expand it and just arm in arm we're locked in and we're here to support each other and love each other and celebrate and nurture and help when the times are hard and celebrate when it when you've had a breakthrough. Right. So that's what I'm excited about. So I'm really happy. Thank you, Sherry, for coming to share with us how you experienced the Lunar Ladies so far and that you're cut you're signed on for a whole nother year, which mm -hmm. is awesome. You bet I did. Thank you. <laughs> it's an so investment glad. in me, and I just, you know, you're my soul sister, and we got to help each other out. But in, in turn, it's like you're getting gifts. It's not like it's just here, here, Shannon. You know, it's like you're giving, you're providing amazing service, and we're growing um, energetically. And and you know, I can only speak from my personal, you know, journey that it's helped me so much. I mean, to wake up, you know, and then actually kind of fear the moon you know, was a real viable right. thing for me. And it really like toyed with my psyche for a long, long time. Like I just had it in my head. And then I was a bartender for like 19 years. And, you know, I always noticed that around that full moon, there would be a lot more fights and a lot more. I was 86 and people out. <laughs> Get out of the bar. <laughs> and, you know, around that would be moon, very so scary around the energy of alcohol. Yeah. And, the moon. Yes. and so I was really, you know, I had, I had a tumultuous relationship with our dear little moon friend. <laughs> But, you know, with your help, but not no more. Yes, with your help, I've been able to embrace the gifts the moon gives and it's helped me elevate. So I'm blessed. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, I feel like even your like a massive amount of accelerated growth that you have 
had experience mm -hmm. in 2017 is amazing. Like where you started to where you are right now is so shifted <laughs> in so many ways. You know what I mean? And it's not only just with me and Lunar Ladies, it's Randina, it's Katie Mackey, and you know, Kelly, oh, yeah. and the essential oh, yeah. oils, and Tara. It's yep. amazing. Tara, Gosh. yep. All of, I mean, and all of my soul sisters, I mean, yeah, Katie. Yes, Katie, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't that bad, <laughs> Yelling Katie. at the drugs. <laughs> right? <laughs> totally. <laughs> Katie's all, don't even lie, Sherry. Exactly. No, You're like, oh, no, none of this. Mama bears in the house. I'm, I'm like, look, we are not going to play with you tonight. You got to leave the sandbox, take your Barbies and your G.I. Joes and step out of the lane. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I'm serious. Like, ah. But it, right. was, it was a lot of fun to be a bartender, but it was it had its moments. So, um, yeah. yeah. Oh, but, I bet. I can't even imagine. I mean, you being as sensitive to you are to energy. Now I understand. I, <laughs> how did you do that? I don't know. I it was, drink really it was, it was self-preservation. I was like, I need to work. Desperation. Right. I'm willing exactly. to do anything. I don't even care. Right. Uh, yeah, it was. <laughs> but I so, so uh, We'll keep all the ladies. I know you all, it's like 9.15 on the East Coast and here in California, I know you're making dinner for the, yourself and your family, but I really wanted to um, share with you like all the joy that's happening in the inner circle. And I want to thank you, Sherry, for coming on and sharing your experience. And I, I'm so happy that all the ladies who join us and will watch this later will get that 411 on, on the power of 11 this year and then what we're up to and how we're connecting and harnessing with that energy. And I'm going to post a link to the special page where you can sign up at 50% off and you can enjoy 50% off for the whole year. Yay. It's so worth so it. Normally guys. It's seven and it'll be yours for 49. And we're, and Cherry, can you tell us real quick? Cause I'm on the phone. I can't get that picture. Um, what's the number of 49, the angel number? What does it mean if you can, if you have it oh. nearby? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I should have asked you earlier. Yeah. Me and my little angel numbers. I can. I'm like, thank you, Doreen Virtue. <laughs> yes, um, thank you, Doreen. 49 has special significance, and here is what it means. Give me like two seconds to do this, and I will have the number. Angel number 49 says, the angels urge you to get to work on your major goals and life purpose without delay. Ask them to help you with ideas, courage, and motivation. Perfect. Yes, that's why we picked 49. Yeah. And it, per it went perfectly with the 50% off. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. Thank you, angels. <laughs> oh, 13. Oh, I'll tell oh, Katie Mackey wants to know what angel number 13 is because there's 13 watching. Woo, Katie. Oh, Katie wants me Katie. to Katie wants to dive in here. Let's see what 13 is. The ascended masters such as Jesus. Kuan Yin and so on are with you, helping you maintain a positive outlook. The number 13 signifies that female ascended masters and goddesses are assisting you in staying positive. What? <laughs> Katie, wow! <laughs> female goddess avatar, what? That Katie, so what? Awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Katie, for noticing the Ooh. 13 and asking. Like, whoa. And look okay, at it. It's so amazing stations. how everything in the universe is so divinely orchestrated. I'm in such awe. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Yeah, I mean, really, Liz, there's no work for us. Liz we just have to follow the birthday, her, the operation date for Jane, her baby girl. Oh, my God. See what I'm saying? It's like everything is so orchestrated perfectly. Isn't that right, Miss Katie Mackey? Miss Shannon Murray. Yes. Come on. Yes. <laughs> All the ladies that are with me, of course, lucky. Liz, That's Lori, right. if Corrine's still on. Uh, come on, man. I'm telling you. This stuff is the real deal. Right? Home. We're telling you. We're telling we you. It's the real deal. Our house. <laughs> <laughs> come on over to our house. Come into the, in the light, everybody. Room. Come into the light. The light of the moon. <laughs> come into the light. Come into the light. <laughs> Come in and embrace your 13, your intuition, right. your a female avatar within. Yeah. <laughs> 13 Get to work on your soul purpose. Synchronistic number. Uh, Malia says 13 is a big syn synchronistic number. 13 moons, 13 weeks in a season. Girl, you've been doing some homework. You need to come in. To the <laughs> come on, Malia. What are you? Hello. You're great. 
Yeah, there, is amazing. This. She is, talk about another wealth of Akashic Library. Wow. <laughs> Right, yes, Lori, right? Awesome. And, and uh, yes. Laylee, I mean, I don't know if I pronounced your name correctly. I apologize if I did not. But Lolly. Um, Lolly. I'm sorry, Lolly. Um, yeah, every, every, it's just everything. There's no accidents. Yeah. It's just all orchestrated so perfectly, like the perfect little chess game. Oh, my gosh. And then Lori Reeves is on with us. Hi, Lori. Yes, Lori. She's also in her circle VIP lunar lady, and she is on fire. Yes, she right. is. Yes, she is. She is doing massive, mm -hmm. like, awakening coolness. Mm -hmm. I cannot wait mm -hmm. to get the downloads from her. Right. She is opening up a portal of consciousness where I'm like, it's like blowing my hair back. <laughs> <laughs> like, like the Max L commercial. Whoosh. Yeah, she's like, oh, my God. Hey, Lori. Whoop. Both Lori's. We got two Lori's. Yay. Oh, yeah. oh, yay. Hi, Lori Hi, and Lori Vizyak. <laughs> nice. Nice. Well, thank you so much for the honor of being able to um, share some testimony in your sacred space, Shannon. It's always such a pleasure. Oh, thank you, Lori. I mean, thank you, Sherry. You should thank Lori, Lori, too. All the Lori's. Thank you, Sherry. Everybody. <laughs> Lori and Sherry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry, for like sp spending time with your precious time with us and delivering like your effervescent energy that is just so I so in um so in sh in Sherry in my phone and the contacts I I don't think I told you this, Sherry, but I love it because every time you get a, you text me or call me, uh, I put your last name as Cluckles. <laughs> done with my uh, my former name yeah <laughs> like, oh i there's a oh ladies i'm gonna make you all laugh and then we'll let go because your time is precious but get okay. this okay my 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 growing up name i'm not married anymore so i don't know if i should even call it a maiden name but uh my my growing up name was cluck yes not clock not clark not click it was cluck just <laughs> like the chicken, okay? And I grew up a child of the 80s. I was in junior high and high school, my most impressionable years with the last name of Cluck. And it was like, uh, okay, great. Thanks for the sense of humor. And now what? So there was a commercial that was going full force with Kentucky Fried Chicken, which is now uh, you know, an acronym at KFC, but it used to be called Kentucky Fried Chicken. And they had a slogan called get your cluck for under a buck. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So ladies like totally try that out. Right. Like just get your cluck for the buck. You're like not in this lifetime or the next. <laughs> oh my God. I was mortified. But then as I grew older, it became a conversation piece, but I was like, Oh my God, these guys would be coming up. Hey, I got a buck. I'm all, Mm. Oh my Wait. god. Uh, oh, so that man. ought to make you all laugh. <laughs> Thank you for that. I mean, like when, when I first got connected, you know, so I so luckily got connected to Sherry and she told me her story about her her growing up Davis Cluck. I'm like, she is sent by the angels to <laughs> be friends forever. They had a sense of humor. They're like, mm, let's just pick that one. No, wait, I chose that thing. What? <laughs> That just shows you your like, level of like soul advancement to come into this world with the last name club. Like, right. That shows strength. <laughs> strength. Charge on. That just, that shows fortitude and I'm perseverance. Serious. Uh I was like, you you have seriously got to be freaking kidding me, right? <laughs> God. I was <laughs> I was like, whatever. Okay, I'm just gonna roll with this. Woo, woo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get your I'll, I'll be at the. I'll be in the center quad after school. Got this. <laughs> you know, you just wait there for me, Kay. <laughs> Seriously. Oh my God. All Thank right. You. <laughs> Thank you for sharing and making us laugh and giving us some wonderful belly exercises know, with right? our spirit. Like Thank over. you, Sherry. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you everyone for joining with thank us and you. hanging out with us for this past hour <laughs> i so appreciate each one of you and all those who want to watch this later thank you for being here thank you for being in the lifestyle group i thank so you. wake up every morning going oh what's going on in the lifestyle group i love all these ladies they're just so much fun yes and i was always so happy 
Pixie is there, <laughs> and I'm always sending you yes. love and kisses when I, when I open the page. <laughs> yes! So I really want to like invite you to come into the inner circle, and we can just have, we can take this, <laughs> the fun we're having you. already, and turn it up, uh, turn it up a notch. Yes, it's a and beautiful I'm experience. So happy to do that. I hope to see um, as many people come into the circle and start 2018, this power of 11 year off with a bang. Like just boom. Yeah, like like that girl said. Mwah. I know. Mwah. <laughs> <laughs> Go. I know. You know. <laughs> yeah. Hot stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Bye, That's ladies. <laughs> okay, bye, ladies. I'll post a link if you're interested, and if you want have questions, feel free to comment on here or send me a direct message on Facebook, and I'd be happy to share with you more about the club experience and what it is and. Yes, I'd love for you to come over to my house, hang out, be part of my inner circle family. Right? Without cupcakes and tea and <laughs> laughter and hugs all the time. Kale cupcakes, <laughs> right? Kale cupcakes, right? Kale. Green smoothies and kale cupcakes. <laughs> Lolly, we got Lolly, get us some recipes. Come on. Yeah, I love it. Lolly, we need kale yeah. cupcakes. Come on. <laughs> That's another cool thing. Like the more ladies that come in, you all bring your gifts and I'm all about showcasing and highlighting and sharing <laughs> right. so that, you know, we network and commute and connect and, and, uh, you know, to be successful in our, in the way we show up in the world as well. So I'm down with that. Yes. Woohoo! Yay! So much Yay. awesomeness coming ladies. Come on. Yay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Thank you, Sherry. Thank you're, you, ladies. Have a welcome. wonderful evening. I love I'm you. I'm going to be over at the Shannon. Bye. I love you, too. Mwah. Thank you. Good night, ladies. Good night. Good night. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> I don't want to go. <laughs> You're right. We're like, what are we doing? Come on. Let's pull an all-nighter. Ah! <laughs> Slumber party. Wait, oh, my hold God. Hold on. Let me put myself idea. back. Oh, oh my, my God. God. Now I have an idea. <laughs> Slumber party. Slumber Come party. On. Yay. We can all just like, we oh have my to God, go a in, live like, stream slumber party. Zoom. Help them with we that should meeting. do a Zoom. Oh my God. That would be amazing. <laughs> oh, that would be so oh, yeah. fun. Okay. It's, 11, it's 11, now Elixir and written. Zoom. <laughs> it's on the list. I'm writing it down. <laughs> slumber Woo. party.